Hello everyone and welcome to a long overdue episode of Jurassic News. Roll the intro! Ah, it's been a long time since we've seen that little bugger, isn't it? So, before we get into it, this is going to be part spoiler, part not spoiler. So, we're going to be talking about everything to do with the new movie Jurassic World Dominion that was supposed to be coming out in 2021 next year. In fact, less than a year it should have been out. However, there has been some changes. So just before we start this video, we will start with the non-spoiler stuff and then we will do a spoiler warning. Just so you know that spoilers are going to come up. So in case you know you don't want the movie spoiled for you or anything like that, that now's the time to click off. Well, that's the time to click off. Not now. Don't click now. No. Oh, God. I can already see Universal now. They're like, oh, no, 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 no. How about we start with the biggest news? The best news. I get that out of the way. Of course, non-spoiler. Uh, that the movie is not coming out next year. No, it has been pushed back a further year to 2022 and with it they put out the jurassic t-rex in the amber and the day june 10th 2022 as well as the uh, cast that will be or the cast ensemble that will be in the movie and i, I like this post it's very similar to the classic scene where um you've got the amber mines where he holds up the amber and um you just get that close-up of the mosquito inside the amber obviously this is like a callback to that with this logo so what does this mean apart from having to wait an extra year so i've got a lot to say about this actually i was gonna say god no it's okay i am all right with it but actually it, it affects a lot of people so for me personally um it doesn't affect me too much but there's a lot of YouTubers out there that cover solely Jurassic news or Jurassic Park content. And every, you know, in 2015, when Jurassic World came out, you had the big spike and you had a similar one with Jurassic World Fallen Kingdom. And this being the last one, I would assume it would be an even bigger spike than Fallen Kingdom. So a lot of people who do YouTube full time or cover dinosaur related news rely on these movies to make income. Um, so having that pushed back another year um, and with, you know, the whole pandemic that's going around at the moment, it's really affecting the um, output of news and material to cover. But for people who primarily focus on Jurassic Park or Jurassic World content, it's really going to uh, put a dent in them. So if you can uh, support them in any way possible, just to keep them going uh, for the extra year that, you know, and I'm sure they don't need me to tell you they're probably OK. But it's just it's just something that maybe a lot of people don't think about uh, when, oh, yeah, it's been delayed a year. For a lot of those channels, it's like, oh, oh, gr oh, great. <laughs> Especially with, you know, the current climate, people being unemployed, all that jazz. Anyway, that out the way, as far as it being pushed back, I'm okay with that. Whether it's a production thing, uh, whether they need more time to work on the movie, I would rather have it done the right way than it being rushed. Um, but that leads us on to our second point. That is the cast. Um, so if I just scroll to the right, there we go. So here we have the whole cast. Uh, some new faces, some uh, the returning faces. So if you didn't know, uh, let's go through them one by one, shall we? So starting at the uh, top left, We've got Mamudo Athi. Is it Athi? I'm sorry, I've never, I've never uh, heard heard of the name or read it, and I'm terrible at reading names, so I do apologise. Uh, that's a new face. I haven't seen him in any movies, although I can't say I've really watched too many movies recently. Uh, we got Laura Dern, of course, returning as Ellie Sattler. Uh, that was one of the big reveals uh, leading up to what should have been the movie next year. Uh, was is Alan Grant and Ellie Sattler coming back together? Oh, I don't know. Are they even going to be in the movie? And that was teased for a long time. And uh, here we go, Laura Dern. I think it was officially confirmed a while ago. But anyway, in case you didn't know, because this would have been the big news, uh, Laura Dern is uh, returning. Of course, we've got the cheeky boy himself, Jeff Goldblum. Of course, he's returning. Um, a lot of people have speculated how his his role is going to kind of affect. Um, the rest of the the franchise, maybe he'll, maybe he'll. Like some people have said that he might die. You can't kill Ian Malcolm, surely not. Anyway, on to the next one. Scott Hayes, another face, and you're the new face to the Jurassic franchise, um, and you're the new face to me. Come here, Mike, get closer. When I first saw him, I thought, yeah, he's got a villain look to him, <laughs> and I wouldn't be surprised if he does play the villain, because out of all of these uh, character or cast. Um, there's only really one that could be an antagonist. 
Um, so I'm assuming Scott Hayes is going to fill in for that other actor that kind of did Fallen Kingdom with the auction and all of that. Uh, of course, we've got Bryce Dallas Howard returning as Claire Deering. Uh, I wonder if she'll get an intro. Kind of with Jurassic World and Fallen Kingdom, we all had the, the doors opening. I wonder if we're going to get a similar one to see her uh, character development. And the next one, Ditchin Latchman. Uh, I hope I've said that right. I'm terrible with names, like I've said before. Uh, I think was in Altered Carbon, I think it was. It's definitely been on my radar, Altered Carbon, to watch, but I haven't got round to it. We haven't seen anything uh, from her, either like spoiler set-wise or anything like that. So don't know what kind of role she's going to fill in. And of course, the great Sam Neill coming back as Alan Grant. And if you haven't already seen the uh, beautiful videos that Jeff Goldblum and Alan Grant have been posting on Twitter, either it's them playing uh, piano. Uh, obviously they're having great fun sort of being reunited. They were kind of reunited for Thor Ragnarok. And of course I can't mention those videos without mentioning the amazing sick Triceratops who takes those, you know, wholesome clips and then turns them into this. A chance, not even a chance. This is a fun. And if you found that funny, he also does other weird stuff like this too. <laughs> so if you want to see more content like that, follow him, or don't forget to follow him, on his socials like Twitter and YouTube. He posts all of that great content there. And moving on to the bottom left, from right, left to right, we got Daniela Pineda. Uh, this is Zia, I think. Or is it, it's not Zara, because that was the babysitter, right? This is Zia. Uh, so she's returning from Fallen Kingdom. So it'd be interesting to see what kind of development her character has or what kind of role she plays. As, as it's already becoming clear, there's a lot of characters here and a lot of relevant ones to the, the, the plot and the story. So it's going to be interesting. We're probably, hopefully we're not going to have a part one, part two. But if, if that's what it takes, I'm assuming not. I'm assuming they won't split it up into two parts. Um, and then, of course, we've got Chris Pratt returning as the uh, the hunk, hunk of a man, uh, Owen Grady. Uh, we're going to be talking about a lot or a lot about him uh, in the coming up spoiler segment of the uh, of this video but right now. You can't have Jurassic, it's not Jurassic World without Chris Pratt, without our Owen Grady, our motorcycling hero, and of course his sidekick Blue. Really, we need a cartoon series. Anyway, 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 Campbell Scott. Uh, this was, uh, I was like, who? who? Uh, this person, or this actor, I should say, is filling in for Dodgson. This was a while ago, a couple of, maybe a month ago or so, um, we were sort of floating about that this actor was gonna be playing Dodgson. I was thinking, oh, he doesn't look like the original actor, so I had a quick Google. As it turns out, the original actor who played Dodson is in jail. You can Google it yourself, stuff I really don't want to get into uh, <laughs> in this video. But, surprised to say, Dodson is returning. You know, the classic, we got Dodson here, is coming back. Um, and of course, Dodson had ties to Biosyn, and we're going to get into that. Maybe Biosyn might be returning. Ooh, stay tuned for the spoiler segment. Uh, <laughs> and Isabel Sermon, who played Maisie, uh, of course, probably playing a, a bigger role uh, in this series because it, it had a lot to do with her because she was like the clone and all that jazz. So it'll be interesting to see uh, just kind of what, what her her sort of character turns into because she's a clone, a sort of human clone and all that jazz. Okay, we also have Justice Smith Franklin, of course, returning. I mean, you could, you probably couldn't have uh, Franklin and, uh, you know, one of them returns here, return without Franklin. They're kind of like a little duo, aren't they? Again, I'm okay with that. It just, as long as it doesn't, you know, because we've got so many characters and I can't really imagine all of them being in the same room together unless we have some weird dialogue like in The Lost World where 10 people are talking over each other. One I'm really excited for, we have Barry returning, or should I say Barry from the Minecraft DLC. I still don't think they fixed it. I don't know why they called him Barry. I'm pretty sure he was called Barry. Oh. <laughs> but anyway, Barry, Barry, whatever you want to call him, uh, is coming back from the original Jurassic World. I'll be very interested to see uh, exactly how he returns. It might be just for a brief cameo, you know, where uh, Owen Grady now returns and tries to track down um, Barry because he's got, you know, some training with the raptors and all that jazz. But really, kind of open-ended. Um, he didn't, he, all he did was kind of help Owen and that's it. Uh, but another one, new face, we've got Wonder Wise. Don't really know how she's going to uh, feature into the movie. Uh, in the spoiler segment of the video, we do see her briefly. And of course, 
It can't be a Jurassic movie, or apparently it can't be a Jurassic movie, without the classic BD Wong playing Dr. Henry Wu. Returning again, a lot of people have said that he'll probably die in this one, but there might be some answers in the spoiler segment that might surprise you. So that is it. As, as far as we know, there was um, a, a possibility of Lowry returning. Uh, Jake Jones, I think, who plays him. But apparently... Uh, uh, the shooting didn't really fit in with his schedule because he was probably shooting something else. So maybe we will see Lowry, maybe we won't. With this whole movie being pushed back a year, is it possible that he will find time to shoot something? I don't know. It's It might be a little surprise out of everybody who's going to come back. Hey, it's Lowry. We didn't think he'd be here, but here he is. Now, with that out of the way, we know who the cast are, but what about the dinosaurs? Well, not too long ago, uh, Colin uh, tweeted out this, saying, Woke up to the news we had a few positive coronavirus tests on Jurassic World Dominion. However, all tested negative shortly after. But due to our social protocols, we're going to pause for two weeks back soon. So, in order to fill in the gap and fill in the void, which is already an extra year and now two weeks, uh, he posted this picture, which sent the Jurassic fandom into a, into a blaze of comments because people really didn't know what this was or they were discussing what could it be because, for a start, it doesn't really look like a dinosaur. And you'd be right, it's not a dinosaur. Uh, if we take a better look at it, somebody, a lot of people posted uh, what they thought it could be. Um, but this person, Kirsten Formosa, said, is, is that a Lystrosaurus? And they, she wasn't the only person who uh, asked if it was a Lystrosaurus, but for whatever reason, Colin Trevorrow decided to answer her question with an equivocal yes. Is that a word? Inequivocable. Unequivocally. Unequivocally. That's the word I was looking for, leaving no doubt that that is, in fact, a Lystrosaurus. <laughs> what? <laughs> so, for a start, Lystrosaurus existed before the dinosaurs. Uh, it was the, uh, the late Permian period, I think it was, to the early Triassic, um, growing to lengths of about eight foot. So this could be a baby. It might not be. Uh, it could even be fully grown. I mean, really, we're talking about the Jurassic franchise. Being accurate has never been something that they really strived, strived for. Uh, until, well, the first one they kind of did. And then after that, they were like, ah, sod it. We've got our own franchise now. Scaly dinosaurs all the way. However, this thing is, I think, a mammal-like reptile. It's not a dinosaur for a start. It's also not a dinosaur that was ever on Ease of the Nublar either. And how how did anybody get this DNA? Where did, where did this thing come from? Um, I think in Fallen Kingdom, Jeff Goldblum did, or Ian Malcolm did say something about, you know, genetic power is out now. It's a, the be the biggest tool, blah, 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 blah. And maybe other people are creating dinosaurs, possibly. Uh, or we'll find out in the spoiler section. Maybe. Anyway, moving off from that, uh, we got our answer. We have a new species of dinosaur or the Cretaceous species some sort of prehistoric animal, I should say. Um, and also, that movie poster guy, uh, Neems, has put together uh, this lovely thing. Uh, it's a lovely poster. I love that. I love the amber. That's great. I just thought it was worth showcasing because that looks gorgeous. And we still don't really have a logo for Dominion just yet, uh, but maybe it looks something similar to this. I think... Neems actually designed one of the Fallen Kingdom posters as a, for a competition um, and he well deservingly won it um, and I think it did become a poster and hopefully maybe he'll also work on the next one. Going on to I mean we've got to go back right because we haven't or I haven't even discussed anything Jurassic World Dominion related because the way I recorded Jurassic News and for Fallen Kingdom took so long that by the time I got to do it there was just no point, really. It was, all, it was old news at that point. But however, this is today. We're getting stuff that was literally today. So, still no spoilers. Don't worry. Uh, this was a while ago. Um, they, of course, were shooting, I think, in Canada. Uh, this shows a, a close-up shot of Maisie. I think this was posted by either Jurassic World Twitter or Colin Trevorrow uh, before the whole pandemic started, unfortunately. Um, but it just shows what kind of, um, you know, climate we should expect from 
least maybe the start of the movie or somewhere in the movie uh, were in some sort of snowy area. Um, as you can see from this other image, uh, you've got this big mountain. So um, I'm really struggling to think of, of how we've got here, but it's interesting, right? We've never had snow at all in any of the um, of the Jurassic franchise movies. We've had tropical and that's been it really, I think. Um, so to see snow, dinosaurs in the snow might be quite interesting. But that's not the only, we've got also this set photo as well, um, showing what could be crates. It looks like it could be. It looks like a scene from Indiana Jones or something, but of course now, the, the pandemic has kicked in and we've got some PPE there taking pride of stage. Um, however, now, before I go any further, we are going to enter spoiler territory. So if you don't want the movie spoiled for you, now's the time to click off. Uh, some people might remember I made a guess of how Interaptor was going to die by using the trailer footage and of course the Lego set. And I was right. And that, I think I, I probably spoiled it for a lot of people. It was just kind of a, you know, a thing I was thinking about. I didn't really know if it was going to be legit, but it was definitely high chance of that happening. And it did. So if you don't want anything spoiled, I don't want to say something that's like, oh, there it is. And if, there are some definite spoilers in here. Uh, so now's your chance. Thank you for watching. But however, if you do want to stay, uh, we've got plenty more to talk about. So here we go. This is a behind the scenes uh, filming on location in uh, the Mediterranean. I think it was either Cyprus or Crete. It was something like that. Uh, this is showing a uh, Chris Pratt riding around on a motorbike. Now there's been a lot of people because they were filming it in a city. There's been a lot of people taking screenshots or take, taking uh, pictures uh, showing decimated uh, chairs and everything uh, in the town centers and stuff. However, I want you to take a look at this footage of Owen Grady doing his thing. So here we can see Owen Grady just going down a street, turning down a side alley and driving off. Seems fairly okay, some people are alarmed. But I want you to have a look at the man in the blue chair at the top right. He sort of reacts to Chris Pratt going past and then he does a bigger reaction. And that to me says that Owen Grady is being chased by a dinosaur. Um, the the woman who is in the side street doesn't seem to do, like do a second reaction. She just kind of looks at him, um, and it might be a case of the camera does go through and follow him. But this might be the end of that shot, meaning that she doesn't really have to react to a dinosaur because they're going to cut it as soon as he goes down there. However, the other guy definitely reacts to it. But this isn't the only thing. If we skip forward a little bit, this was also uh, taken on location. I don't know who took this picture. Maybe somebody who lived on the street because as you can see, there's doors right there. So somebody might have had to get out of their <laughs> literal house to get past the film crew. And as they did, they took this picture. Uh, it could even be posted on Twitter. I'm really not too sure how this came about, but this might be, and I'm almost 100% sure, uh, the dinosaur that is chasing Owen Grady. Now this, for a start, isn't a raptor. It's not a Carnotaurus. It's not an Allosaurus. It's a new type of dinosaur. I'm assuming engineered by some of the DNA or, you know, that was sold at the auction at the Lockwood Manor or maybe some other, uh, there was some other uh, company has made dinosaurs as well. A lot of speculation. People have said it could be Herarasaurus. To be fair, it could be any theropod carnivore that has no distinct head crest. It could be it could be an Albertosaurus. It could be a Tarbosaurus. Who knows, really? Um, because it's the Jurassic franchise we're dealing with here. But it, it is a carnivore. It will be probably a theropod um, by the looks of it. Um, but that's not the only image. We have this image as well, which shows two of the heads. So it's possible that we've got two dinosaurs chasing down Owen Grady. It would make sense, right? Why make two puppets when you, if you've only got one dinosaur chasing them? They are different though, which is interesting to note. Uh, you've got the one on the right, which is definitely the one we saw on the floor, and the one on the left seems like he's covered in flour or something, so maybe he burst through uh, a, a crate or something. But either way, I'm assuming that these aren't going to be used in the movie. This is just like a stand-in, a bit like they did with the raptor heads when they were in, you know, they were being petted in the raptor enclosure. I'm assuming this is something similar like that. 
Are you ready for one of the biggest spoilers ever in the franchise? <gasps> Drum roll, please! But oh, Biosyn is returning to Jurassic franchise in general. Biosyn, for whatever reason, has never been mentioned in any of the franchise since. Uh, since Jurassic Park, where Dennis or Dennis Nedry made the deal with Dodgson, or even then, I don't even think it was mentioned. It was just in the novel. If you read the novels, read the books, you would know that Biosyn was the competing company that Dodgson worked for to try and get the DNA off the island to create their own, to catch up. However, movies, I don't think it was ever mentioned. And for a good reason, Biosyn is actually a company. So... I'm wondering if, you know, the connotations to Biosyn in the novels, in the books, was it, it was a bad company, right? It was kind of this, like, sleazy, you know, underhanded, they paid off Dennis to try and get the embryos off the island. So I'm wondering if Biosyn, because it is a genuine, co genuine company, and if, you know, if they did it something like, you know, when you have companies who have cars and stuff like that, usually if they're in a movie, the car never gets destroyed. It's usually going through everything. It's showing how amazing the car is. Remember that Jeep advert that Jeff Goldblum did? It could outrun a T-Rex. Um, so you can't, you, you know, if they couldn't have the Jeep being wrecked by a T-Rex because that would prove that the Jeep isn't a good car. So I'm wondering if with Biosyn, they're kind of a good company now. They're the good ones. And we've seen in Camp Cretaceous, we've heard of the company Manticore, who might actually be the baddies in this one. Maybe Biosyn are the good ones because Universal don't want to be sued by the actual company Biosyn. But there are a couple of different uh, pictures. This, this is, of course, coming from JurassicVault.com uh, of, of the different uh, vehicles. We've got Humvees or Hummers and some big trucks, all with the say Biosyn on the side. This image, however, uh, shows the cast. Now, I could not find the footage for this, but it was a legit footage. It was posted by uh, some sort of network, um, like the New York Times or something like that. And it showed the cast going into this huge plane, of course, plastered on the side of it, Biosyn, and they're walking in twos. Now, you can see from this image, we've got uh, Maisie, Claire, uh, Owen, and of course, Colin there wearing his mask. Um, and we have the other unnamed character as well with Maisie. And can we just say how tall Isabel has gotten? So I'm wondering if they're going to say, okay, it's four years now, or if they're going to have any bigger jump because from the events of Jurassic World and Fallen Kingdom, it was supposed to be taking place in like real time. So it was actually three years later, three years after the events of Jurassic World, Fallen Kingdom took place. And Dominion was supposed to do a similar thing as well. So not only do we have those characters there, but we also see Laura Dern with the unnamed character as well. We have uh, Alan Grant and Jeff Goldblum. Oh, that's Alan Grant. <laughs> they're all the same. Okay, they're all the same. Sam Neill, Alan Grant, Jeff Goldblum, Ian Malcolm. You know what I mean. And they're walking together as well. Uh, no sign of uh, Ellie Sattler's husband from Jurassic Park 3, though. Bless him. Poor guy. But this scene sort of, I don't know, you've got Claire a bit tattered up. She's sort of covered up as well. She's been a bit through the wars. Uh, Owen Grady doesn't seem to really be that messed up, I don't think. Uh, so I'm wondering if they are now being deployed somewhere by Biosyn. Maybe Biosyn are swooping in and saying, look, we're, we, we want to clear up this. We, we, you know, we did our wrongs or whatever, but there's other unscrupulous people out there. We need you. Uh, it's a possibility. But the biggest um, kind of thing that came out of this whole shoot, or the second biggest, I should say, is this. I'll just put, put, this, put this meme up. Um, so <laughs> we have a kiss between Alan Grant and Ellie Sattler. <laughs> What? <laughs> That's crazy. Now, whether or not this is actually during filming, I, I'd hope, right? I, they're probably married. I don't even know. I know uh, Laura Dern and Jeff Goldblum actually went out when it was Lost World was, or Jurassic World afterwards. They went out for like a brief year or so. But um, that seems to be a kiss. We also have another picture of them hugging. So it'll probably be a hug and a kiss uh, between the two. But cats out of the bag man either they are in a relationship or they definitely have strong feelings for each other and after all of this they're going to be in a relationship oh this is crazy but it doesn't get it gets better it gets better it does because it doesn't go even crazier but it does and the second bombshell it is dr henry 
Wu also boarding the plane. If you look at him, he's got long hair. He's also got his arm in a sling and he's carrying a bag. It kind of looks like the Dodgson bag. We're going to have what seems to be Alan Grant, Jeff Goldblum, <laughs> Ian Malcolm, Laura Dern, Ta-da, Ellie Sadler, and Henry Wu. These characters have not uh, or have never really been in contact with each other in an entire scene until or since Jurassic Park when you had the raptor hatching. So this is going to be so crazy. We're going to get some lecture from Ian Malcolm saying about how far he's fallen. We're going to get Alan Grant maybe discussing a little bit with them, especially Laura Dern, or sorry, Ellie Sattler. Um, we're going to get some really intense dialogue. I'm hoping the writers really do a number with this one. This is something that the fans have not seen for ages. Maybe we're going to get handling of a baby dinosaur between them all, a little homage to the original Jurassic Park. Um, but the theory might be, you know, uh, Henry Wu, has, he's not taking care of him. So he's got this long hair. He's He's got a broken arm. You know, he's been p dragged, pulled every which way from, you know, InGen and maybe now Biosyn. You know, maybe he was locked in a lab somewhere, taught to work on dinosaurs, and he's been freed now. Maybe this is Henry Wu's redemption arc. It's possible. I mean, why else? Owen Grady, Claire... You know, all these characters, all these big names, Alan Grant, Ellie Sattler, Ian Malcolm, Owen Grady, Claire, Maisie, I guess, Henry Wu, they're all together in the same plane. Why would it be a bad thing? Like, unless they've captured the entire cast, this has to be a, voluntar a voluntary thing. Maybe Henry Wu has seen the error of his ways and he's now trying to right the wrongs that he's created with InGen and the whole Jurassic World incident in Doraptors and Dominus Rexes. But that is going to have to wrap it up here. This has been Oh, so crazy. Uh, if you have stayed for the spoilers, well, I hope you enjoyed them. I definitely did. I, I originally was thinking, ah, should I should I really stay? Like, I just kind of want to watch the movie. But then when I saw it, I was like, no, I'm, I'm excited now. I want to see it. <laughs> oh, man, this is, oh, it's so, I'm so looking forward to this. It's a shame that it is a year away. Uh, or so I say you're away, two years away now. Hopefully by then, the world will be back to normal, I hope. Um, and we can all see this in like a crowded cinema. Enjoy what seems to be the final send-off for th this Jurassic World series. Well, no, it's not going to be the end of Jurassic Park or Jurassic by a long way. I mean, this is Universal's biggest, biggest cash cow. They're not going to get rid of it. Uh, so thank you so much for sticking with me. This has been completely unscripted. So I hope you enjoyed it. And until next time, until we get some more crazy Jurassic news, I'll see you later. Oh, bye-bye.